People can only make better choices if they have the right information. There's no doubt that misinformation and conflicting information is confusing adults who smoke. One day they hear good things about smoke-free alternatives and the next they hear scare stories. And as a scientist, I find that really, really upsetting because the science is very clear. These products are, they're not risk-free, but they're a much better choice than continuing to smoke cigarettes. All we're asking governments and regulators to do is look at the facts, look at the evidence and, and really make decisions based on what's the, the best option for adults who would otherwise continue to smoke, given the scientific evidence that's available. So everybody who's putting information out into the public domain about smoke-free alternatives has a responsibility, and that responsibility is to adults who smoke. They are the ones who deserve factual information to help guide their choices. They should not be misled by misinformation, and I think everybody has to take that responsibility very seriously. There's evidence from many countries around the world that providing these better alternatives to adults who smoke is a viable option to, to add to the existing strategies of encouraging people to, to quit. Um, if you take Jap Japan, for example, in Japan, our heated tobacco product has been available there since 2015. And now we see that the sales of combustible cigarettes have decreased extremely rapidly. And I think that's um, really encouraging. So we believe that bringing these products to each and every country where smokers are continuing to use cigarettes is really important to, to help get to a smoke-free future as quickly as possible. And I think as a scientist myself, it's really important that people look at this evidence, that they look at both ours and independent studies and use that to help inform policy, help inform what adult smokers learn about these products in order to encourage them to make better choices. Here's the beautiful thing about science. Eventually, the facts and the evidence become impossible to ignore. And that's what I see happening in the future, a recognition of the role that smoke-free alternatives can play in reducing the rates of smoking worldwide. I'm, I have no doubt that this will happen. So in addition to the current strategies that we have of encouraging people not to start smoking and those that have encouraging them to quit, I believe that smoke-free alternatives have a really important role to play in getting us to a smoke-free future. Music